Hi guys, had a request a while back from Rumble Videos saying he needed a rubber band powered car and he only had a cereal box, egg box, straws, barbecue sticks, tape and scissors and rubber bands. Um, I did ask him if there was anything I could use for wheels but he hasn't replied so I'm going to have to use a cereal box and cut it up into discs to make wheels. I'll use the egg box for a chassis. There's an egg box. So that'll do for that. Got plenty of barbecue sticks, plenty of tape and I've got scissors. So I'm guessing that I'm not allowed to use any sort of glue either. So we'll just have to see what we can do. First thing we're going to need to do is make some wheels. Now this cereal box cardboard's pretty thin stuff. It's not going to make very stiff wheels. So I think the best thing I can do is cut it up into quite a few circles, discs, and then tape them together to make some fairly stiff wheels. I've only got one cereal box, which isn't going to be enough to make enough wheels. These are the only other cardboard boxes I've got, but they look like they're the same sort of thickness cardboard, which is pretty thin and rubbishy. So I'll cut some wheels out of these as well. So we'll pretend that these are cereal boxes. So that's 170. Half of 170 is 85, and half of 85 is 42.5. Back there somewhere. That's going to be. Can't do that in my head. Back there somewhere. Well, they're not going to be great wheels, but they'll probably do the job. There we go, four wheels made from cardboard cereal boxes, covered in sticky tape to hold them together, because there's four layers of cardboard each. Now we need to sort out the chassis. I've only got this card, uh, no, I'd have liked a cardboard um, egg box, but I've only got this plastic one. But that might work to my advantage. Just looking through it, I can't put the rubber band up the middle because these are in the way unless I cut them out the way. But I could just run it up one side. Right, I've pushed the drinking straw through the front for the axle tube. And I've pushed a drinking straw through the back. 
I shall trim it off and cut the middle out so that we can wrap the rubber band round the back axle. I've also put a small piece of barbecue skewer just in the front there to strengthen it so I can attach the rubber band to it. So rubber bands next. Or I could use some loom bands because I've got some here. Test run time. Just wind that up a bit more. Get hold of the camera so we can chase it. Whoa, bit of wheel spin. Got a four ounce lead fishing weight there. Add that inside. Okay, let's try that again. Still got a bit of a left turn. Okay, not quite such a white, <laughs> not quite such a right hand angle on it this time, and we'll let go. So we got to the other end, five meters. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a egg box. This one happens to be a plastic egg box. I'd rather use one of those cardboard ones. We've got wheels made from cereal boxes. Each wheel is four layers, four discs, stuck together with sticky tape. We've got barbecue skewers for the axles, drinking straws for the axle tubes, and I've used loom bands, but ordinary rubber bands would have been fine. That's the motor. And I've also got a 4 ounce lead fishing weight sitting in there to hold the wheels on the ground and stop the wheel spin. And that's it. Job done.